Ruby was born three months early, and it was at her discharge that they gave us final instruction, which was just to get an eye exam, just to make sure that everything was developing as it should. Ruby was one of our interesting retinoblastoma cases. So she was premature. She was at an outside hospital, and initially they told her that maybe she had some bleeding in the eye from being premature. And um, she came in, and actually right away it was clear that right in the center of her vision, in the macula, there was a retinoblastoma tumor forming. Retinoblastoma is the most common primary tumor in children, and it is most often diagnosed in children under five years of age, usually actually around 18 months of age. One third of the time, it affects both eyes. When it affects both eyes, those children, like Ruby, have a, a genetic defect. So they have a mutation in the retinoblastoma tumor suppressor gene that actually was a, a genetic defect um, in a gene that was described here years ago in the 80s. And um, it means that each one of the cells in her body has that mutation. And then she developed a second mutation, which is needed to cause a tumor in her eye. Right. Oh, I see a light. You see a light. See? Yeah. The retinoblastoma service at Children's Hospital is world class. We're all so proud uh, to work there and to care for the children there. And our affiliation um, is and has been with um, USC and the USC Roski Eye Institute. All of our faculty at CHLA are also faculty uh, here at USC. A lot of people were unwilling to work with us because of her size. So when we met Dr. Kim and Dr. Barry, they were a little concerned but confident that they could work with her and like had a good outlook and everything. So. Um, Finding them was a breath of fresh air for us, and we really liked them right off the bat. We took her to examination under anesthesia so that we could look at all parts of the eye, and at that time she only had a tumor in one eye. With time, she did develop a tumor in the other eye, but far outside of the center of her vision, and she's responded really well to treatment. So she had three cycles of chemotherapy, um, multiple cycles of laser, which is very common for this tumor. You need to use a lot of laser to keep it under control control and we're really proud of how well she's done um, in terms of her retinoblastoma. She is cancer free. Unfortunately the tumor did affect vision in her right eye but her left eye is doing great and she sees perfectly well with it and so there's no reason why she won't continue to see well and do do well in terms of that eye for her whole life. They have empowered us from the very beginning. They give it to us straight every time so we have come to truly trust them. I think by caring for Ruby I I've become a better physician. I've learned that it's not just about curing the cancer, but it's about giving some normalcy. I think so many of our conversations with Dr. Kim and Dr. Barry have been A, what's important for kind of attacking her disease, and um, B, how do we help her feel like a normal kid throughout the rest of her life? I love Ruby. I mean, I really do love her. I don't know, we've just developed a really special relationship. Oh my gosh, you guys are amazing. <laughs> Truly, honestly. Truly amazing. Keep doing what you're doing because you're changing lives. You've made this process so much better for us than it could have been. <laughs>